Hi, I'm Vicki Norris, organizing expert and life reclaimist of Restoring Order. Today, you're enrolled in Home Office 101, where I'll share key workspace elements, what works, what doesn't, and tips to optimize your space. And I'm gonna share actual client projects and the strategies we used for successful home office setup. Let's start with room arrangement. It's often an afterthought and we go out and we get a desk or two and we toss them in the home office and then we just try to keep up. And a perfect example of this is these his and hers desks that were in an office and they were piled high and awkwardly positioned. Instead, we reimagined the room and we used the perimeter of the space to set up two new conjoining desks that gave us a much longer work surface. You can also float a desk in the middle of the room if your work doesn't have a lot of stuff and paper that goes with it because when you do this, you are going to sacrifice workspace. So the strategy here in room arrangement is reimagining your space, zooming out, taking an aerial view, figuring out what's not working, and creating new possibilities. All right, let's clear something up here. The desks that you see in magazines and on those photo image sites are not real desks. They're just tables. They have no storage. They have very limited work surface. They're fake desks. So don't judge your own desk against those desks. To make you feel better, this is a real client picture of a real desk piled high with paper like most of us. Okay, here's a before and after of an actual desk makeover. Now this one has a deep surface and that's why it's collecting clutter. Now instead, what we did is we purposed the back third of this deeper desk for the paper management systems. And this is a great tip. Use that front two thirds for work surface and the back third for your systems. That's the way to make use of a deep work surface. And unless you don't use pens, staplers, and sticky notes, for the love of supplies, don't get a table, get a desk that actually has a few drawers. All right, there comes a time when we all have to upgrade our workstation throne, our chair. Now, in my experience, most of us sit on a crummy chair all day long and it wreaks havoc on our bodies. Even if you have an official office chair, most of us sit on the very edge of it, which is not good for the back. So consider investing in a proper ergonomic chair to get the back support that you need. Finally, every home office needs a reference center. That includes your filing reference and your books and materials. In this home office, you can see that carefully chosen furniture include a lateral filing cabinet that has space on top for peripheral equipment and an open bookshelf form an elegant reference center for this executive. And of course, my advice is to inventory what you have before you buy furniture. You may be able to pare down your reference material and find things online and you won't need the furniture at all. So we've got your room arrangement, your desk, your chair, and your reference center. These are important foundational elements for a successful workstation. But there's a lot more ideas and you can find them on my blog, Home Office 101, Key Workspace Elements. Here is to optimizing your workspace. I hope you had as much fun as I did. Please subscribe to my channel and run out to restoringorder.com for organizing and life reclamation ideas.